It's your boy Davidoff, welcome back to a vlog. So, Wednesday the 9th is my birthday, today's Saturday the 5th. As a birthday treat, me and my mum are going, mom, oh, I should say my mum and I because that's uh, better English. We are going on a 12 hour trip, say hello. Hello. Hello, we're going on a very 12 exciting. hour. Very exciting. Yeah, very exciting, yes. Uh, initially it was going to be just to go to Stonehenge, because like I've been exploring a lot of other countries the last couple of years. I haven't explored much of England, so I thought, hey, let's explore a bit of England. And mum, mum's like, free, it'll right there, actually, let's go somewhere. I'm just like, yeah, Stonehenge. Looked into it, I use an app called Get Your Guide. I'm not sponsored, by the way, I'm just saying. I used that, when I got on holiday, I used that 90% of the time to buy tickets and stuff. Get Your Guide, very useful. Then it's nice and peaceful in the morning, on a Saturday morning anyway. But yeah, um, I used the app and I looked at Stonehenge and just like, okay, there's some good tours here, but a lot of the good tours it wasn't just Stonehenge because Stonehenge is just like two hours from here and back. You can do like a quick four hour tour. It's not so bad, but I looked into it and I thought, hey, why not combine it? Because a lot of the best tours of Stonehenge also involve other things. So we're not only going to Stonehenge, we're also going to Windsor Castle where a lot of royals are buried, including Henry VIII. And I'm pretty sure the Queen's buried there as well. Uh, but it's, it's a good looking castle. So looking at that and also we're going to the city of Bath to explore the city of Bath and also visit the Roman Baths, which I've seen pictures of plenty of times, never actually looked at going there. And I thought, hey, as a combination, going to Stonehenge, Windsor Castle and the Roman Baths, it sounds quite fun. So that's what we're doing. Out of the two of us, there's multiple options. We chose Evan Evans Tours, again, not sponsored, but it's called Evan Evans. I looked into the different um, companies that do it and they're the best reviews that I've looked at anyway. So yeah, we got to get to Victoria Coach Station. It's almost 6.30 when our train arrives. It will take like 40 minutes to get there. Um, the coach leaves at eight. They said get there 7.30. In my neighborhood, that over there is a World War I war memorial, so I can't speak, war memorial. Um, every Remembrance Day, there's like a gathering here on a Sunday and uh, it's, uh, it's quite nice. So it's, it's a nice uh, part of the town, it's, it feels like the heart of it. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I've wanted to visit Stonehenge for a while actually. Um, I've been keen on visiting there. It's a, a bit of a mystery why it exists, but it's quite a fascinating thing to look at um, at least once. Um, I mean, I've seen it plenty in movies and photos, but I want to see it in person. So I'm looking forward to that. And on top of that, there's a bonus of there's other two places. It's right about queuing times because it's August, uh, which is summer holidays, and it's a Saturday. So I'm kind of worried about a lot of queuing times. Um, I don't know how long there is in between. Like, we'd be going to one place, having a time limit there, and then going to the next place, and it's all within like 12 hours. So I'm just curious to know whether we will have adequate time to visit each place. But yeah, hopefully it'll be all right. That's my only, that's my only worry. Looking forward to visiting all, all the places, but with the queuing times, and I'm assuming there's going to be a time limit to the coach. Um, I'm hoping everything works out fine, but yeah, uh, we shall see. It's a 12 hour tour, including the journey back. Um, it should be fun. Let's get there. <laughs> Rain has begun. It is forecast to rain at every place I'm visiting today. Maybe it'll reduce queuing times, who knows? But either way, that's not really good news. <laughs> but we'll make the best of it. That is the staircase to the toilets. Smelliest toilets ever. Genuinely, this is so bad down there. This is not bad. Luxurious. Luxurious indeed. We're near the toilet though. But what do you think? She, she's not a fan that we're near the toilet. It's we're not that far. It's not that close. It's not gonna smell. I assume this is to listen to the tour guide. The tour guide today is called Maria. Your phone. Yeah, Brought a wire, but it's USB C. That's not USB C. Got my power back though. Ladies, they felt so frail and so back on their shop.
The red petals outside. The airport starts security to get in, as you would expect. It's a royal castle, still in use sometimes, so not in today. Fun fact for you Heathrow Airport's not far from here, so you see planes flying quite low. Heathrow used to be an RAF base, which I knew. They used to be an RAF airport. Um, they used it to protect the castle from uh, Germans in World War II. Now it's one of the busiest airports in the world. I never see this castle when I'm landing. I've landed there so many times, even in the last couple of years. I never look in fairness. I, I look. I look for stadiums mainly. It's, it's not ideal, Mark. Someone has me. Family. What do you think of Windsor Castle? It's very nice. Very nice, yeah. You know, the Queen is buried here. Yeah. You hear that? We're learning a bit of history. Henry VIII. Six wives, he killed two of them. <laughs> Mum's favourite monarch, Victoria. Really good looking place, a lot of nature as well. The shop there, more down there, and the chapel is over there where the, some of the monarchs are buried, including the Queen and King Henry VIII and one of his wives, one of his six wives. There's even a royal guard over there. There you go. When you see the Union Jack here, that means the royals are not here. There's a separate flag they have for the royals that they put up. It's like a red flag, I think like an animal on it that means they're in so they're not here today but king david is here me video photography allowed i was going to anyway but you know they definitely uh just in case some idiots do Mum wanted more time here. She wants to have Nando's, but we don't have time to eat Nando's. Um, they gave us two hours here, but like half of it was just queuing up. Um, the tour guide got the ticket and uh, left us for an hour. Um, it's enough time to like see the chapel, see the queen, and you know, see a lot of the castle. But I feel like you know, like a 30 minute extra time limit would be great, I think. But it is what it is. At least we saw the main things. And the Royal Guard was pretty cool as well. Packed now. We did come at a good time at first. Got a Mars Crunch. Don't really know what it is, but I wanted it. So I've got it now. <laughs> Three pounds. Overpriced. Extravagant way of stopping this from falling off the table. It's effective. The bracket I'm opening here is called Legoland. Many people are expecting it to see, just out of pure curiosity, what the outfits of the visitors will be because they're chasing and spotting her horses, how are they performing? Stones and really funny is the formation of two upright stones capped with a Just think, oh, we are here until we die. Stonehenge now. Uh, this is the main attraction for the 
main reason why we're doing this trip. So I'm looking forward to this. I can see it in front of me. Um, so they dropped us off. They said you got to get a shuttle to uh, to Stonehenge, and it's it's literally it's free uh, as long as you got your wristband. Um, a wristband that ticket. They said get back at two twenty. It's currently one thirty. We just arrived. So <laughs> and we got to wait like ten minutes for the shuttle back. I think apparently. So maybe we got like half an hour, half an hour, forty minutes to Stonehenge. It's enough time to see, I guess. It's not as bad as we were in the Castle, but still, fairly short. I wonder how long we got in Bath. That was built before the Egyptian pyramids. In fact, when it was built, even the wheel had not been invented yet, so... Pretty sorry, pretty much. It is. First time in person. Plenty of times in Bath. Only 147 on the way back to the shuttle. We've actually seen like we've seen every angle. It's enough time. The tour is originally going to do, right? Yeah. The other one I was going to do originally. Come straight to Stonehenge, yeah. spend two hours there, and go back. Yeah. We, we made the change to this tour, yeah. and it's good. We only need, we need like 20 minutes here. You've seen it. It's raining there, isn't it? Yeah. What, what, what do you think of the place, though? Is it? It's very good. Any ideas how it was built? Because even they don't know. But it's just a shame it's raining, but could have taken better photos, but it is what it is. So uh, I'm just glad I saw it. So, there's nothing I want to see in England, it's the end of the north. Um, I don't want to see that at some point. It's just that it's <laughs> travelling like four or five hours just, just to see a statue of an angel. It's something you, you'd want to see if you're going up there on the way. Yeah. At least I've seen Stone Angel. I'm just like, should I put a room coat? I agree. I am so good. And we're at the visitor centre. Here we can buy souvenirs and there's a cafe. 17 minutes. That's enough time. £26 for that. It's actually a really cool thing, but £26 is our word. See, I love that, but it's not a key ring. Is that in a key ring? You obviously got that, but I've seen the stone, sounds fun. You see, this is much better, but I like the pun more. Hmm. Decisions. That's good as well, to be fair. We've got both. <laughs> uh, just, that's just too cool not to have, and then that one. It's just, I like the pun. I literally posted an Instagram post like 10 minutes ago saying I've seen the stones and now there's a magnet with the exact same caption. It's, it's meant to be. And obviously the keyring. Not too bad, eh? See an exhibition back there. But uh, we've got seven minutes, so yeah, it is what it is. But I got a Stonehenge cap as well. Of course I did. I kind of wanted the, uh, the little figure. I think that was pretty cool because I got like a set of towers and bridges that I've been to. I thought it'd be good to add to the collection, but £26 pounds is just like, come on now. I saw a smaller one, it was seven pounds, but it didn't look anywhere near as good. I'm just like, you know what? I'll find it online. I think I might have to add it onto my collection, just not here. Is it established on this, some burning called uh, Eczema of time. He died quite old, at the age of 96. for six years. 
is here with her aunt in the city of Bath, and here she wrote two of her best of her novels, and those are Persuasion and Northampton Abbey. Beautiful period architecture, so for the cascading water was created to prevent the river Avon from flooding it. We will manage to get to the Okay then. How's it taste? No? <laughs> A full cup, she only took a sip. It wasn't that bad, she doesn't like it at all. But, like, I don't think it was terrible, but it was it's all right. The, the tour guide said it's, it, it smells like rotten eggs, it smells like rotten eggs, but it's water. It's got a lot of I don't know what, what the thing is, but it's got a lot of uh, something in it. But, uh, yeah, she didn't like it. I don't think it was that bad, it wasn't good, but it wasn't that bad. It was just a bit weird, that's all, but uh, yeah. <laughs> At least I've tasted the water from London bath now. You can actually buy some bottled up, but the, what's the point, really? Because <laughs> I'm just going to drink it anyway, unless I want to preserve it. But uh, the historic coins of Great Britain. Not going to get it, but it's good to know what they look like. It's pretty cool. Got Roman bar specific chocolate. This is going to be quite nice, probably. And they got fridge magnets. Not impressed by the key rings there, being honest, but at least I got this. Perfect. Had to leave Bath, we just got out of M&S, got some food, including uh, I found vegan Kit Kat, which I thought was interesting. Take a look at this, vegan Kit Kat, it's interesting. Anyway, we've got 10 minutes to get to the coach, so we've got to hurry up. 
So Windsor Castle would have preferred more time. Stonehenge was perfect. In and out, it was perfect for that. Roman baths, not enough time in my opinion. It was good. We saw a lot of Roman baths, but as soon as we got out the baths, we had like half an hour left to like look around the city. It wasn't enough time to explore properly. Um, but yeah, apart from that, like I had a good time visiting all three places. It's just that at the Roman Bath especially, and in Bath, I would have liked more time. That's the only thing. Um, but for a 12 hour tour, it's not too bad. But the 12 hours includes the ride back to London. So that's another thing. We're about an hour away from the Welsh border. So that's how far west we've got them. But it was nice um, hearing, listening about interesting English history. So it was a good time. I enjoyed it. It's just I wish I had more time around the bus and uh, and the castle as well. Do you think? It's a very good trip. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Did we have enough time? Yes. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, oh, yeah, you you're going on your big. All the uh, area. Yeah, but today, this here especially, I wanted more time. Yeah. But Stonehenge was fine. That was enough time. But just this place and the castle. Castle, a bit more time. This place, an hour more would be great. But it's a nice place. And we can come back to the south west. Just about the really, really promising uh, that they are back around here because they're keeping the nature and the balance of the wildlife. And we are back. They dropped us near the train station, which is a 10 minute walk from the coach station. It's convenient though, because we can just get straight home from here. Do you know that they invented the wheelchair in Bath, the city of Bath, the last place we visited? They invented the wheelchair over there. Quite interesting. Anyway, we're gonna get home and uh, then we'll try that chocolate bar and then the vlog's over. The station. Now we are home. Let's see if the chocolate specifically made for the Roman baths is actually good. Good? Hmm. Good. Really? Out of ten? Ten out of ten. Ten. Hmm. I'll give it an eight. It tastes like chocolate but it doesn't taste special but it tastes like chocolate, it's, it's, it's all right. Um, for £3.75, maybe not, but yeah, it's nice chocolate. It's just that, you know, the fact that it's special to Roman baths is just literally just chocolate. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it is what it is. I had a good time, just like overall, like it's just the time limits. Like it, it, there wasn't enough time in uh, two of the places. Stonehenge was perfect, I think. Windsor Castle, we did most of the things he wanted to do anyway. Um, Saw a bit of royal guards, the changing the guard. We uh, saw the queen's uh, grave, uh, to various specs, and um, yeah, we did. We still did most of the things there. It's just that a bit more time, maybe like twenty minutes more, there would have been good. And for Bath, an extra hour would have been great because we spent most of the time in the Roman baths, and that was it was great in there. But like we went through there pretty quick. Like we didn't spend too much time in each place. We went round the museum, went round the whole place, upstairs and downstairs. By the time we got out, there wasn't much time left, aside from buying food. So it would have been better if we had more time in Bath. But I guess that's the thing about the distance in the 12-hour tour. Obviously, we went close to the Welsh border, so we went quite far out, in fairness, west of, west of England. But still, it was a good time. It was a good time. Uh, just wished it was longer in some places. But for 12 hours, it's not too bad. And we saw some good things that I've wanted to see, especially Stonehenge. So, uh, yeah, a few things ticked off. Uh, the bucket list I guess um, and I look forward to sharing with you some of the trips I'm going on this year there's another birthday vlog on Wednesday which is my actual birthday um, so it'll be up on Thursday we are going somewhere it's not like uh like today it's literally just you know it's not it's not something new or fresh it's just something fun that we're looking to do with granddad as well so looking forward to sharing that with you and uh, there'll be a vlog tomorrow you can guess what it is, but it's football related. This is your boy Tavidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.